Welcome to my craft room. I'm getting ready to teach a class at Hobby Lobby. I'm working on my display board. This is one of the cards that I'm teaching. It's a beautiful, elegant, but simple, simple card. You get a free class tonight. First thing, the vellum. We're working with the vellum paper, not the cardstock. It's lighter weight. You can do two sheets at once. So you want to put that in there and put it through your big shot. Let's crank it through. Are you ready? This is adhered to itself, so when you pull this apart, be very gentle. And it even cuts into the design of the paper, but that is cool because we're going to use that here in a few minutes. I'll show you how. So don't be concerned about that. Stampin' Up! carries two weights of vellum paper. Um, this is the paper weight, and we also carry a card stock. We're going to take our Baja Breeze, and we're going to ink around this snowflake, but not inking on the snowflake. Vellum's a really delicate paper to work with, but very manageable. And you can see how dark I'm doing this. When you turn it over, it's going to be a shadow effect. It'll be beautiful. If you've never worked with it, it's not like working with cardstock at all. It is translucent, so it's a great overlay. And there we go. I want that really dark in some places and very faint in others. I'll show you how pretty that looks. Voila. Isn't that lovely? And we're going to be putting that over our Baja Breeze standard size card. And look how lovely that looks. Okay, let's go on and let's do our large decorative label. Punch that out. And I'm now going to stamp my verse. And this is from the Many Merry Messages. If you don't have any holiday stamps. That's a great set to get. Okay, when you're punching out a verse, make sure you stamp it first. It's a lot easier. Line that up and punch. Now let's do a little bit of distressing with our Island Indigo. And do this on a scrap of paper. I'm making a liner for the inside of this card. I, I think it takes it up a notch when you use more than one piece of paper. And I, I just use printer paper here, girl, so it's very informal. Okay, I'm using the Island Indigo, and I'm also combining that with the Baja Breeze. And this is a gorgeous set. I'm stamping off, stamping off of the paper. It's, it's more pleasing to the eye. Let's just add some of our little snowflakes into that. Let me show you a little trick. Turn your piece of paper over. You can see this is our corner here. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to stamp this in the Island Indigo, this middle size snowflake. And I'm going to press that like so. I'm going to take the larger snowflake, put that in the center, right where our verse is going to go, and it's going to give a beautiful shadowed effect. Can you see that okay? I want to show you this set. This is an oldie but goodie, Snow Swirls, gorgeous set. I'm using this tree and verse and another card that I'm going to be teaching at Hobby Lobby. Oh, I wish y'all could come. We'd have a good time. And I love the words of this verse. 
May the true spirit of Christmas fill your hearts with peace, your home with love. It says it all, doesn't it? And that again was the Island Indigo. I'm going to take my tape runner and place that on the inside of my card. But I want to show you, I always stamp my envelopes as well. And I did this exact same thing that you just saw me do on this liner. Can you see how lovely that shows through? Line that up. And voila. I'm adding the mono all-purpose glue to these areas that are embossed. Because vellum paper is so translucent, you can't use just a regular adhesive. You have to use something that um, is not going to be shown. Can you see how in, in the camera, can you see how that's showing? Well, we're going to put a tag there, and that's going to totally cover that up. So we now will apply this to our front. I'm not going to touch those areas that I have the glue. I'm just going to work around them. And little bits of that glue is going to seep through and we're going to take advantage of that. Maybe I am going to touch that right in there. We're going to take advantage of that glue that seeps through, and we're going to put glitter, and that's what will catch that glitter. So that's going to serve two purposes. It's going to serve the purpose of our glitter, and it's going to serve the purpose of holding our paper down. Oh, in case you haven't noticed in other videos, my dazzling diamond is in a salt shaker. It's not going to come to you that way. <laughs> I got tired of having glitter all over me. So I went into my kitchen and found this old salt shaker. And it's working great. And there we go. Shake off the excess. And it is beautifully glimmered. Now I'm going to add my tag. I've already put the dimensionals on the back. And we will adhere this right where that glue is. I've already added my gems to this. And you need to let this dry before you add your gems. Because you can see there's quite a bit of glue under there. And that really needs to dry. So I'm going to stop the film for just a moment, let that dry, and then I'll come back and add the gems. It's time to glimmer these little snowflakes up. Don't you just love the stamping up rhinestones? Oh, I have some rhinestones that I had purchased at a store. And now I, I can't even stand to use them because these are so much more realistic. They look like the real thing. So, there you go. What do you think, girls? Don't be afraid of vellum. If you've never used it before, it's really not that hard. And if you have any questions about using this paper or any other of the supplies, please email me or send me a message and I'll get right back with you. All of the supplies are available at my online store from Stampin' Up! So I would be happy to help you in any way I can. Hope you'll try this. Thank you.